Hi, welcome to our YouTube channel. My name is uh, Michel van Putten. And my name is Marleen Tjepkela. In this short video, we will explain you something about AI for EEG. Yes, and before we turn to the EEG, a very short recap about machine learning and artificial intelligence. Marleen. Yeah, in traditional machine learning, there's a human involved uh, who defines specific features. So in the example of this car, it can be the color, the size, the number of wheels. Um, that well, defines that it's a car. Where in deep learning, um, there are no human predefined features. So the net itself yeah, defines its own features. So the net strains itself. Yeah, so the net does the feature extraction and the classification, while in traditional machine learning, the feature extraction is done by, and the definition by a human being. Suppose uh, we want to have a net that differentiates cats from dogs, then the net can be trained with a large number of pictures of cats uh, and a large number of pictures from dogs. And if the training is successful, then when the net is uh, shown a new picture of a cat not seen before or a dog not seen before, then it should classify the pictures uh, in the correct way. Yeah, so in this way it's very similar uh, as our own brain. Yes, and um, so we can apply the same philosophy to EGs, uh, where we train uh, a net with labeled epileptiform discharges versus uh, EEG epochs that do not contain epileptiform discharges. And if that goes successfully well, um, then the net should be able to reliably detect epileptiform discharges. And uh, this is actually ongoing uh, in several research groups uh, in the world, including ours. Yeah, so we need to train a network based on a lot of EEGs. For more details, please see those references. Uh, but the the fun part is to look at its application. So the, these networks are also um, yeah, included in the NeuroCenter app. So let's go there. Um, yeah, so this is the web address, um, neurocenter.app. Um, and you can try for yourself. You can sign up. Uh, there are instruction videos. And once you sign up, you get your uh, username and password and you can experience, uh, even with your own EEGs, how well uh, the AI can assist you uh, to detect epileptiform discharges. So I will log in now with my, uh, my own username um, to uh, show an example um, of the power of AI. Yeah, and then we select uh, review previously recorded EEG, and you can well select one of your own EEGs, but for now we go to one of the demo data in included. So yes. we select this. Yeah, if you click here and here, you can select uh, your own EEG from your own uh, local storage. But now we'll take one from the cloud. Yeah, let's take the focal <coughs> epilepsy example. Yes, so this is a nice example. Here we have the EEG. You can visually review, but the fun part is to let the um, algorithm do the work. Yes, you can set some filters if you like, and uh, that's all very self-explanatory. But let's start the algorithm AI for uh, intrictal epileptiform discharge detection. And it's starting up now, and it takes about, I think, 10 seconds for a routine EG of between 20 to 30 minutes to uh, detect if any epileptiform discharges. Um, so it's ongoing now, there are a few seconds left, and then the detected events will be shown on the right. Yeah, we can see that there are 10 events found, and we can easily click them to see what it's found. Yes, so here we see a very nice example of a yeah. focal from discharge. Yes, of the, say, right from the temporal right lobe, and another example, and another example. So this is, a, I think, an excellent illustration of the power of AI. And it's also good to realize that this will significantly change uh, the way uh, how neurophysiologists will, um, and lab technicians will review EEGs. Yeah, it's extremely useful for um, 
the ambulatory recordings. So we uh, validated it also on 124 hour EEG recordings. And then we found that the time needed to review the EEGs by using this system uh, is reduced by a factor of 50. So it's really tremendous. Yes. Um, while the performance is similar to an expert being kind of so it is Yes. So in closing, this will and is already ongoing in clinical neurophysiology departments, uh, uh, at least a few, the, the innovators around the world where <coughs> EGs are analyzed with AI and the results are presented to the clinical neurophysiologist uh, and uh, to assist in fast, reliable and more efficient reviewing of EGs. Thanks for watching. Thanks a lot.